We're here outside Ocean City with recent Hall of Fame inductee Chris Stocky. What Hall of Fame did you just become? DC basketball Hall of Fame. And uh, it was a nice event yesterday at the Congressional Country Club, and I'm lucky to be a part of it for sure. Who else was in that class? Adrian Branch. Um, uh, which, of course, everybody, you know, the all turf fans uh, recognize him. Thurl Bailey from the um, NC State National Championship team. James Brown from CBS Sports. Uh, obviously, he's busy on Sunday, so he wasn't there to collect the plaque. But, uh, but they honored him. He got into the Hall of Fame. He's a great player at DeMath and then at Harvard. So it was a class of seven or eight people. And uh, like I said, we're just lucky as hell to be a part of it. Uh, give me your top one or two best DC moments. I'll take one from the AU playing days. Ha! Beating Georgetown, uh, you know, when they were ranked fifth in the country. Uh, that was a good day. And uh, at Patrick Ewing, and uh, we were able to beat them 63 62 pre shot clock, pre three point line. And that's an important qualifier right there. And where was that game played? Capital, the old Capitol Center. All right. Yeah. Cool. So. And it was a, fortunate enough to be a national TV game, so it was a good win for the for the good guys. All right, best moment as a Terp broadcaster outside of winning the national championship. Um, I, you know what? I'd probably say winning at Duke. Anytime you win at Duke, uh, Gravis did it. You know, obviously the uh, national championship team did it. So uh, those are great, great wins, and it's amazing how silent a really raucous building can become. Excellent. Well, for all you Terp fans know this, but if you listen to Maryland basketball on the radio, you'll hear Chris Naki and Johnny Holiday, along with Walt Williams once in a while. <laughs> Home okay. games. So uh, other than covering Maryland basketball, what do you do with yourself? I have a business in Old Town, Alexandria, and uh, I've got my fingers in a lot of pies, Wayne. You know, I just do a lot of different things and uh, speak a little bit and uh, get out there. I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a lousy golfer, but I love playing in events like this, especially when it's for a good cause. And, uh, you know, just uh, life is good. All right. Thanks for being on Turp Talk. All right. Thanks, Mike.